We cannot say that we are not impacted by the downturn or even recession in, in some of the European markets. Um, the, the previous uh, trade relation between with, uh, Europe was, or North or Western Europe, let's say, or the EU 27, uh, was to the tune of 50-55% of the total trade. That's down now to about 45%. Uh, and Turkey has been quite good at establishing new trade relations, uh, uh, not least with North Africa, uh, the Arab Spring countries, uh, um, more and more trade into uh, Middle East, um, and, and even Far East with uh, trade agreements, free trade agreements and others. So we see quite a development here. A lot of the a lot of the export from here uh, is construction material into, into massive developments in both West, East and South Africa uh, and North uh, Africa or Mediterranean Africa. So if, if you look at that, uh, directly linked to the development there, more money are getting into, more development, more um, uh, business properties are being constructed, uh, residential, everything. The interesting thing is that many of these uh, projects are being Again, either as concessions or anything else, they're being won by the Turkish entrepreneurs, the Turkish construction companies. Uh, and then not only do they go there with the know-how and the expertise, but they also source a lot of the construction material from Turkey, uh, not least steel. And I'm not just talking about, uh, let's call it the, the, the more uh, or the less advanced product, but, but actually uh, uh, very nice products, very good products. That's, that's one of the big areas you see there. You also see that there's a number, I said before, new trade agreements. There's a number of trade agreements that has been made uh, bilateral uh, between uh, Turkey and, and, and several of the African countries. Um, uh, I was told that at the last meeting I had with, uh, with uh, the Danish Embassy that the uh, construction uh, development in Africa now, uh, Turkey comes in second uh, only after China in terms of their activity level in yeah, in Sub-Saharan Africa, and I think that's very interesting. North Iraq, because of the energy that they have started to, uh, to explore there and, and, and export, uh, is a booming market, uh, and Turkey with its, uh, uh, let's say, neighbourship is, is, a, is a perfect corridor for that market. So we see a lot of, of cargo uh, moving, all, cargo all kinds, moving through Messina and Iskenderun again, the southeastern parts uh, and ports of Turkey into North Iraq and back. Uh, I haven't been there uh, lately, but uh, we just had a, another team back from there saying that there are literally kilometers of uh, lines of queue of trucks waiting to get goods into to North Iraq uh, and back. I think that step has been taken already, yeah. and I think that you will see that uh, to an increasing extent, depending on when Europe rebounds. But then again, they also have the close relationship already with Europe established, and are able to to bounce back uh, very fast. Uh, we have some of the big uh, companies again, White Goods Electronics, uh, going from here, being produced here, uh, going into Europe, and we see a certain or a peak now in. Uh, in the volumes moving from here again, based on good quality and, and reasonable price. So, um, so, so I think I think they are able to turn on and off the tap in in, uh, in sync with the economic development in Western Europe, and then they have spread out their trade interest to so many other markets that uh, it, it becomes an even more stable market to work in.